In this video, I'm going to take you through a Binance app tutorial and I'll take you through a complete beginner's guide from how to deposit your crypto, set up security, trade with buy and sell orders, earn interest and withdraw from the platform. And this tutorial is specifically for the Binance app. However, I do also have a tutorial for the web-based version platform too, if you wanted to check that out. And for more information on the Binance exchange, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If you've not already installed the app, this is available from the likes of App Store and Google Play. And once you've installed the app, you'll then need to either register or log in. And for those of you that are new to Binance, I'll put a sign up offer in the summary below that'll get you up to 45% off your trading fees. And you can enter that into the referral box at the bottom of the screen. If this is your first time signing up, as with any centralized exchange, you will need to go through an element of KYC or know your customer. And this includes adding in your email address, password, and then photo ID, address, and personal details if you want to buy. Then once you've gone through that, you'll then instantly be shown the homepage. And this is quite busy with all the features available from within the app with quick links to the likes of depositing, margin trading, savings and liquid swap, which we're going to have a look at customizing shortly. Then you can get directly to the peer-to-peer -peer trading and credit and debit card payments. You can look at the token ranking list by what's hot, some of the biggest gainers, losers, or by 24-hour volume. But one of the first things we'll take a look at is the security, as you'll want to implement some security settings before you start depositing any funds into here. And you can reach this by heading across to the top left-hand side of the screen and pressing onto the profile icon. Then go down to security. From here, you can use Binance in conjunction with Google Authenticator, SMS and email. And just be a little bit wary with any security keys as you may find that they don't work with the mobile app. Once you have this set up, you can then start to deposit any funds for trading. So let's head across to deposit. Then from here, you can deposit with crypto or cash. So you can deposit the likes of fear or cash like GBP, euros, etc., which you can do via card or bank transfer. Although with card payments, they will come with a 1.8% fee. Alternatively, you can deposit crypto from another platform or a wallet, which is what I'm going to do now. And I'll be transferring across Binance's own BNB token today, which I'll be doing on the Binance Smart Chain. So that's the address that I'll need to copy from here, as there are a few different options in terms of addresses. Or I could simply scan the QR code shown on screen instead. And please just don't let this confuse you, the fact that I'm sending from Binance Platform today, as this process would be exactly the same from any kind of platform or wallet that you're sending from. So if I send those funds across to the Binance app now, and if I head across to my wallet, now just looking at the tabs at the top here, under overview is a complete list of your portfolio balance and this is shown in Bitcoin and it includes all the crypto and the fiat that you have across the entire platform. Because we're going to be trading today, we need to look at the spot wallet and this will show you your 24 hour profit and loss here too if there was one. Under BNB now you can see that the BNB balance that I just sent across are now showing up. And this is obviously slightly less than the amount that I sent across due to the fee that I had to pay for withdrawing. So now that I've got my funds, there are a few ways that you can buy your crypto. You can deposit a fiat currency or you can purchase with a credit or a debit card from the home screen. And you'll also have to trust the rate that Binance dictates for the buy or sell order. And there's a minimum of £15 in here, which is great for the smaller investor and a maximum of £10,000. But if you prefer to have more control over the rate that you'll be buying or selling at, you'll be better off trading in a spot market, which is what we're going to take a look at in a moment. Because there is also an option to convert, which allows you a simple way to convert from one crypto to another. But again, the price is dictated by Binance. But this is a simple and a fast way to convert your crypto. However, if you're not in a hurry, you might want to state the price that you'd like to buy or sell at. So let's head across to Spot now. 
and this screen is similar to the Binance Trade screen that you may already be familiar with. From here, you can select the market that you'd like to trade, and essentially this allows you to say what you'd like to buy and with what type of currency. So I've got some BNB tokens at the moment that I've just deposited, and I'd like to trade those for cake tokens. So I'm going to select BNB market and then choose cake. And by pressing onto the graph icon here, I can view more advanced charting and extensive order books and order history. But if I just head back, it will show me the order book for my market with potential sell orders in red and buys in green. Then you have the buy and sell order book for placing your orders. And you have a few different order types to choose from here, which are limit, market, spot limit, or OCO orders. A market order is the simplest and will automatically be filled at the best available price. Or you can create limit orders where you define the price. Spot limit for protecting losses and OCOs where one order will essentially cancel out another order. And I'll just take you through a limit order now, which allows you to define the price that you want to buy or sell your tokens at. So you can enter in the price into here, or you can select a price from the order book on the left and then state the amount that you'd like to buy. And you can either manually type that in, or you can choose a percentage of your balance. And the fees here will be the same as over on the Binance Exchange platform. And as I said, if you're a new user, you can save some money on your fees when you sign up using my referral code. But Binance do have some of the cheapest across any cryptocurrency exchange. Then when you're ready, you can choose to buy and your order will remain open until the market reaches your price. So if your order is open and it hasn't yet been filled, you can also cancel it. So say for example, the market changes drastically in the wrong direction, or if you've made a mistake, you can cancel it and try again. And the exact same principles and processes will apply if you're buying or if you're selling your crypto. Then once your order is filled and you've got your crypto, what you do with it is completely up to you. You may want to withdraw your crypto to the safety of a secure wallet with access to your private keys, and that's something that I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. Or you might want to be able to earn interest on it and possibly stake it. So let's take a look at the different options now. So heading back to the home screen, from the center of the screen with the options to deposit, margin, savings, etc., we're going to select the more icon. And from here, we can actually edit the buttons that appeared on the home screen. So if there are some functions that you regularly use, you can change these, which is quite a nice customization feature to have. And there's some common functions at the top, like transferring from one account to another, deposit, and you can view your trade orders from here too. Then there's even more options for trading, finance, and others too. Now I have covered a lot of these Binance products and offerings in separate tutorials, but thought I'd just show you the option for staking now. So I could potentially stake my cake within Binance for 30, 60 or 90 days and earn up to 28.92%. And some of these options are currently sold out, but if they're available, I could potentially stake now. And as I said, I do have more information on this available in a separate tutorial but I wanted to show you that this is available from right inside the app too. But if you don't want to stake or swap your tokens from the list of available markets here, I'll show you how to withdraw. And just before I do, it's also worth mentioning that you can also trade with futures, allowing you to trade perpetual markets with coins or USD stablecoins. Plus, there's some tabs at the top for options and battle here too. However, I'm not going to go into these as they're slightly out of scope for this beginner's guide. So let's look at withdrawing our tokens. And if we head across to the wallet tab, then go to spot and choose to withdraw. From here, you can either withdraw crypto or cash if you had some. And obviously now I have those cake tokens that I just traded for. So I'm going to look at withdrawing these. And in here, I'll want to get my receive address from the wallet or the exchange that I'm sending these tokens across to. And I'll just need to paste that into the address field here. Then it will then ask what network I'd like to send these on. 
and these will be on the Binance Smart Chain. And just make sure that when you are withdrawing your funds, you're always entering in the correct type of address for the correct type of crypto. If, for example, you send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address, you will risk losing your crypto. And you'll also need to pay a small fee here, which will depend on the type of crypto or the network that you're using. But with Cake and the Binance Smart Chain, that fee is minimal. Then when you're happy, you can choose to withdraw. So that completes how you can use the Binance app. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.